in effort to curb drug use, homelessness and retail theft in California will be on the ballot this November as the state looks for solutions to battle its theft epidemic. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rochelle Murcia. And I'm Michael Patterson. Eyewitness News has been covering the progress of the Homelessness, Drug Addiction and Theft Reduction Act. And now Will Silverstein joins us in studio to break down the act. Will. Rochelle, Michael, long time coming for this initiative. Those who support the act and collect signatures locally include Congressman Vince Fong and District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer. With homelessness, this initiative would increase felony charges instead of current misdemeanors. The initiative would institute a treatment mandated felony. Those are given given felons, convicted felons, rather drug treatment. Felons would also get shelter and job training. Now for dealers, fentanyl possession, distribution and manufacturing would see more serious punishment as well. This would also add fentanyl to a list of dangerous drugs, including cocaine and heroin. And finally, most notably here in California, multiple misdemeanors will yield felonies for uh, theft, prosecution and sentencing. As we kind of look at this $950 threshold has been this point of contention for some time. Now, Eyewitness News spoke with Yolo County District Attorney Jeff Reisig, who backs this measure. What I've seen in the last decade is a slow decay of our state, which has really actually picked up in the last few years. The rampant uh, smashing grabs, the retail theft, stores closing, the homeless encampments popping up all over our cities, the open drug use, the overdoses. I've seen it professionally. I've seen the caseload change. I've seen our communities change. I've seen my own family fall victim to the overdose epidemic. So this is very, it's, it's real and everybody out there knows it. It's real and it will likely be on the ballot for the presidential election in November. Reporting in studio, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.